Forward TV. The world is thinking. Pick something that's in the middle of two of these things, which is Ted Kennedy and Ted, what he means and what's going to mm -hmm. happen with Ted Kennedy has a lot to do, I think, with both of the two questions that we just had. In terms of immigration, I mean, it's hard to think of immigration being dealt with without Ted Kennedy sitting at the table because of his legacy. But I think immigration is the, was the single biggest chance for George Bush to rescue his presidency and return to what the promise was when he ran, when he was so difficult for us to run against at the DNC in 2000, when he was a different kind of Republican, a compassionate Republican, someone who could reach across the aisle. He oftentimes cited his Texas record as someone that could work with a Democratic Congress. He was a terrible, terrible threat to us, especially when we were so weakened after the Florida recount. He could have, and the only person he really did reach across the aisle to and, and pass legislation with was Ted Kennedy, but he could have done that over and over again if he chose to. Roe was more interested in re-election and went to what you talk about in your book, which is pushing his base out. But I think the immigration bill last year in 2006 was a chance for George Bush to rescue his 69% disapproval rating um, because he could have passed that. He could have triangulated his own party much in the same way that Bill Clinton found ways to go against his own party to do what you said, expand his coalition. He missed that opportunity. McCain was pushing him in that direction. But I think immigration as an issue in this election is going to be used as a character flaw of McCain's. And it's going to be used as example number one of what he did to go in and try to win a Republican primary. He really was a different kind of Republican and was working side by side. I worked on an immigration coalition just a couple of years ago with Kennedy. But once the Republican, um, once this issue became hotter and hotter inside the Republican primary, he went to the right on it. And this is going to be, like we saw the flip, I don't think the Democrats can do to John McCain what the Republicans did to John Kerry and flip-flop him, you know, all the way to kingdom come and to defeat. That being said, John McCain has some very big issues that he changed on when he tried to win a Republican primary, and he's going to have to answer those questions. Um, the only other thing I would say on health care is that I think there are, I think that I think Barack Obama, and this is where I, to go to your point, David, Barack Obama, I disagree with the notion that Barack Obama's net roots base is move on. I really do. I think watching how he's grown his base in this party, 3.6 million new voters have come have voted in the primaries that never <coughs> voted before. Not all of them are Barack Obama, maybe probably like two million of them. Hillary brought some in mostly in the end. McCain really didn't, but Huckabee and others and Ron Paul have. But Barack Obama's coalition, I think, is people who haven't been engaged in politics before, so I think we have to be careful about stereotyping them as way left. And I also think watching Barack Obama in the Senate, I mean, it was sort of like watching one of those documentaries in the Oscars, you know, the 30-second short films. I mean, he's not really, was not a creature of the Senate. So I think they both have two different problems coming in dealing with the Congress. Barack Obama is coming in as a guy who doesn't really know the Congress. He's not as beholden to George Miller or Ted Kennedy. Well, he's beholden to Ted Kennedy for different reasons, but George Miller and some of these party chairs, he didn't work side by side with them. John McCain's got a problem coming in the, into the Congress because they hate him. He hates them, and he stands up every year with the pork barrel bill and calls out every member's special project. He acts mm. all holier than thou. Even his own party, he had real problems when his campaign was declared dead inside his own party. So I do think they both have different challenges. I think Barack Obama can not in Clintonian terms triangulate, not in a bad way, Congress. He's just outside of Congress. So I think he does have an opportunity, not to sound like a commercial for him, but he really does have an opportunity to sit down and bring in some of these outside coalitions. I think he's got, and his intellectual base, his supporters, and I'd like to hear what you guys say about this, are not the same old people that we've seen. It's out of, coming out of Chicago, coming out of the University of Chicago. It's a bunch of very pragmatic universe. No, I don't mean to town another school while I'm sitting here in Milano, but it's a different, it's a different intellectual group of people that have looked at politics in a very different way.